y'all. So today is the day that me and Nazia do go and get vaccinated. I just have like a swarm of emotions. Like I feel calm. I feel nervous. I feel anxious. I am going to give him his Tylenol. His appointment is at 1.30. My appointment is at 4 o'clock. We go into two different hospitals. He is going to Bellevue Hospital. And I am going to Metropolitan Hospital. I thought that we could go and do our vaccines at the same hospital. But when I made our appointment on the New York City, I believe that's the NYC Health and Health and Hospitals, whatever the website is, they gave me um, Bellevue Hospital for Nazir. We, um, his doctor did say we could get vaccinated two to three weeks after testing negative. So I just went with the safer route and decided to go with the third week. Today is Friday, February 18th. I was going to post this video today, but I'm going to do like a week, week, a weekend blog. Let you guys know, like if we're having any symptoms or anything like that. And I'm going to be letting you guys know what I have experienced after having COVID. So, um, it's nothing too major, but I just want to share that with you guys so all, all i could do at this moment y'all is just trust god just continue to trust god he has brought me through so much he has brought me and my kids through covid and i know everything will go great with this vaccine me and me and isaiah won't have any symptoms and we will not have any um long-term complications i'm manifesting things i'm big on manifestation i'm manifesting things and i'm putting positive energy into the atmosphere so i know all is gonna go well yeah Alright y'all, so we just got off the bus. We about to head to the hospital now. So I'll get back to y'all once we are inside the hospital. Okay guys, so hopefully y'all can hear me. But we are already inside the hospital. Um we already signed the necessary documents that we needed to sign. I'm just waiting for the doctor to call his name. And we're going to get this thing going. My mind was just like racing early on the bus. But um, I'm kind of like calm now after talking to my cousin. So we're just waiting for his name to be called. If you let her... Do what she have to do, then maybe you could get one. So, mommy, given the list of potential side effects, it does not mean it will happen. It depends on his immune response. Okay. Some of those are headache, fever, pain in the injection site. So, if that occurs, Tylenol would be enough. Make okay. sure he drinks a lot of water and plenty of rest. Okay? Okay. Difficulty of breathing or rash, you have to go to emergency room. Okay. Okay? After we're done, you have to wait 15 minutes outside for observation. I'll come out and I give you the vaccination card. Okay, perfect. Please make sure don't lose the card because replacement will not be given. Okay. And for the second dose, you have to bring also the vaccination card. So we can so, do the second dose. So do I need to I need to walk around with the vaccination card? Uh, I think they will uh, give the appointment for that, right? No, I'm talking about after after he gets the vaccine, mm -hmm. you guys automatically give a, give out a vaccination card, or I have uh, to after wait after 15 minutes. Okay. So after 15 minutes, I'll come out. I will give you the vaccination card. Okay, perfect. Okay. My zero is in a very bad mood. You gonna break the law? I'll give you later. Okay. She sees. I have something for you. You see, she got something for you. you see, patience is a virtue. What yeah. exactly the, did he test positive? January. January twenty second. Nice, yeah. You okay? Huh? You okay? You mad? You okay? You mad? You mad at me? Huh? You want to go to Disney World? Me too. You don't want to go to Disney World? Huh? Me too. I want to go to Disney World. You mad, Nazia? So Nazia just got his shot. He was not a happy camper at all. I hope y'all can hear me. But, um, 
I couldn't record it because I had to hold him down. Like, literally had to hold him down. But, um, the lady did a good job. She sticked them, and then that was it. So now we have to wait 15 minutes, I guess, to see if he have, like, any side effects. And then we're going to get the vaccine card, and we're going to leave. Not even after a full two minutes of receiving the vaccination, Nazir started to feel extremely sleepy and drained. At this point, I was feeling a little concerned about my baby because when he doesn't feel good, mommy worries. You okay? You sure? You look sleepy. You sleepy? So go to sleep. Okay, guys. So we finished up in the hospital. Um, everything went pretty well. I'm about to hop on the bus. And I'm going to head over to Metropolitan Hospital because my appointment is at 4 o'clock. But I'll probably just head over straight over there and see if they can see me earlier. And I'm going to see if I can actually film me getting my shot done. Ready? Yeah. How you feeling? You okay? You okay? You sure? All right. Y'all ready to go? Yeah. All right, y'all, so we just got off that crowded Baham bus. Nazir is very sleepy. He ended up falling asleep on the bus. Okay, y'all, so we, like, just got home not too long ago. I couldn't even record me getting my vaccine because Nazir was out of it. He was completely out of it. I'm going to show you how he looked in the chair once i got once we got to the other hospital and once i got in the back we got in the back so i could get my vaccine but before we went in the back nazia was just spread out over literally spread out backwards over the chair sleep i don't know he was just so sleepy um I had asked him, did his arm hurt? He said his arm didn't hurt. When I went in the back to get my vaccine, he was just so out of it. I just felt so bad for my baby. He, his body did feel warm. He felt like he was burning up. He was actually making me feel hot. I had to pretty much like sit him on my lap while the lady did my vaccine. And y'all, when I tell y'all, she didn't even warn me. She didn't, you know how most nurses go one, two, three. She didn't even warn me. So it, it, it she just went in like she held like she pinched my arm and she just put it in that is not right. She just pinched my arm and she just stuck in she stuck me with the needle and it was like a pinch that kind of hurt it. But my arm did feel sore when I left out. I did feel like when I left when I was walking from the hospital to the supermarket, I felt like around like my collarbone was starting to hurt. But then I was like, okay, is this like all in my head? Is it all in my head? We went to the supermarket. We got some food or whatever so I could cook. And it's like a sleepiness just like fell over me. Like I just felt so sleepy. I just wanted to get home. I came home. I ate my sandwich. And y'all, Harmony went to go give me a hug. And she like hugged me on the left side. Because me and Isaiah, we did get the shot done on the left side she went to hug me and y'all i screamed to the top of my lungs because my arm and like my shoulder is very sore so i have a massager i'm going to massage out my arm i did eat my sandwich so that kind of gave me like a boost of like energy but i'm gonna show you what we got from the hospitals how you feeling Nazia? good you feel good i got stickers yeah harmony my, was hold my, on my arm still feels fresh your yeah. arm is kind of sore your arm is kind of sore mm -hmm. all right so i'm gonna give you some more tylenol get the tylenol out my purse but, my, um, can you massage this thing all right too? i'm gonna get the the massager is over there so get the must i'll get the massager and i'll massage your arm okay. but i'm gonna show you guys some goodies i'll probably come back on camera 
tomorrow if anything changes. The hospital that I got mine done at, they gave me two COVID tests. They also gave like this little pouch. So it do have some antibacterial wipes, some little pouches of hand sanitizer, some gloves, actual hand sanitizer, NYC Health and Hospitals. That's a mask in here. And you have another mask. I believe it's about two or three masks in here. And that's all that came in this little pouch thingy. It says NYC Health and Hospitals. So Nazia got this little backpack. It says I am NYC Vax Champ. And I actually like her. I like that. <laughs> So he got another poppet. His got another pouch. I'm not gonna open this because it's literally the same pouch from mine. He got this little ducky toy. <laughs> they gave him this. I'm not too sure what this is, so I'm gonna just open it and show you guys. So they gave him this little cute little hoodie. It says I am NYC Vax Champ. It was so cute. I don't know. Do when you guys took your kids to get vaccinated, did y'all get little a uh, gift bag like this? I know my my mom said my brother got one. Um, but yeah, I thought this was really nice. This is really cute. His little pouch had like this little word search puzzle thingy, crossword puzzle. And you know, of course, they gotta have the app. Hey y'all, so today is Saturday. Um, I have extremely, extremely, and extremely late start. I pretty much been lounging in bed pretty much all day. My arm has been hurting me so freaking bad. I feel kind of like sleepy. My body was like my lower back and like my sides. I, I think you call those the flanks. I'm not too sure. But that was starting to hurt um, last night around midnight. I noticed my opposite shoulder, which was, which is my right arm and like kind of like my shoulder, was starting to hurt. I did pop a Tylenol. I used my heating pad for the left, the left arm where I got my um, shot at. That actually helped me to sleep. I don't know. I'm using my phone, y'all. My lighting didn't look kind of weird. Narzia was complaining about his arm hurting him. Other than that, we're fine. We're okay. Oh, and I did have a slight headache also last night. And I also kind of had like a slight headache today. So I did take some Tylenol. But for the most part, we're fine. No body aches. No chills. Um... My pressure is fine. Everything is, you know, is a-okay. Another thing I wanted to talk about is that after having COVID, I noticed, like, my appetite been, like, kind of, mm, it been kind of, like, funny. Like, I have to eat the foods that I crave, or if I eat, I don't feel full. In the same time, I like stop myself from eating because I want to get back to like, now that I'm vaccinated, I want to get back to like working now, being fit and stuff like that. I want to get my body right, um, lose weight and stuff like that. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe because I program my head like, look, um, I don't want to gain no weight. Like I have never been over 199. I'm lying. The only time I've been over 199 was when I was pregnant. The most I weighed was 210 and I immediately dropped that weight off, them 10 pounds off after having each child. But I have never weighed, besides then, I have never really weighed over 199. The lowest I dropped down to was like almost 140 150 that's when i was like sick after i had harmony and your girl's not trying to um weigh that much because even though it's kind of like for my height that's the weight that i'm supposed to be but i'm not trying to weigh that much like i was sick ain't have no booty no nothing so i'm like no sis ain't trying to get down to that size ever again so the most i want to be is like one 75 180 even 175 is pushing it but if i could get down to like 175 180 or 185 i'm good some days i don't be hungry and then too i also be taking my little slim fast so i'll be drinking my like slim flask milk replacement and i also have some 310 them some 310 nutrition meal replacement as what is they doing outside i also have some 310 nutrition 
but I'm waiting to do a video on that, so that's why I've been like taking my my slim fast. And then my cousin was also telling me, cause I after everything was fine, like I the week of Super Bowl week, I decided that you know I wanted to jump in and do you know eat healthy diet and stuff. And I was trying to, and my body was like, my body was like, no, 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 no. Like, I would have, like, a headache all day. And my cousin was like, look, you got to take it easy. You cannot try and do all this. Like, your body just finished fighting COVID, so you have to slow down. And I was like, you know what? You right. Other than that, I don't have any type of health issues, even before COVID. I didn't have any type of major health issues or anything like that. So, yeah, that's why I'm at. I'm What's up, y'all? So, it kind of been, like, a long, very long day, y'all. Excuse my shower cap. I am deep conditioning my hair right now. I'm actually making another video for my other channel. But, y'all, last night, my arm was hurting. The arm that I did get the shot in, it was hurting. I did massage it. I did massage it a couple of times last night. And then... I started feeling like pain in my other arm. I did take a Tylenol. I've been taking Tylenol since I got this shot. Like for real, for real. Then like in the middle of the night, my lower back started hurting me. My back started hurting. I'm like, oh my God. It wasn't like a achy body ache thing. It just felt like my lower back was hurting like I just worked out or like I was moving too much stuff and my back was like hurting me but I don't know maybe that's just a, a, a one of those side effects maybe from the shot I don't know every body body is different but this is how it's been affecting me um Nazir said his arm didn't hurt um, no more early in, in the part of the day. He's still running around here being loud, acting crazy, <laughs> being a typical little boy. Um, he's not in pain, no sleepiness, no aches, no, no nothing. He's really fine. I'm not in any pain, no fevers, no chills. Um, I do catch a little slight headache like here and there, but when I do take Tylenol, I, you know, I feel fine. That's how I'm feeling. I am going to go and cook dinner and that's just going to be it for this vlog. Nothing major has really been going on, so it makes no sense for me to keep, you know, telling you guys the same thing. You know, it is what it is. Um, I'm taking Tylenol. I just got to deal with the pain until it wears off. So, I mean, it's not really a excruciating pain, like a pain that I can't handle. But you know, you know how your body feel like when you have like a little pain or whatever. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. I did plan on doing my blue apron video but i probably won't post it until next week after i post this video and i'm just gonna finish make i'm gonna finish up my hair and um nice gonna finish up homework let me know in the comment section what you experienced after you get in after you got the covid shot like i went in with my mentality like you know what it's a flu shot it's a flu shot it's a flu shot and that's how i was able to you know <sighs> deal with it and go through with it and get it because honestly if they would have told me at the hospital like no you have to come back for um around your appointment time yeah i wasn't gonna come back i wasn't gonna go back to the hospital and get it so everything happens for a reason did you get let your kids get it now harmony is gonna be four in june um they supposedly supposed to be making a shot for like six months to four year olds I do not feel comfortable yet um, with her getting something that just been put out on the market. So I'm probably going to wait like a couple of months to like almost a year or anything before she even get hers done. Leon already got his, so that's three out of four of us that got it already. And the rest of my family is also vaccinated. Let me know in the comment section. But, y'all, I'm sorry I came on on camera looking crazy. But it's a vlog. You know, 
you ain't, I'm not always going to be razzle-dazzled up 24-7. I am a mom. So, yeah, you're going to get it how I come. That's going to be it for this video. If you enjoy this little mini vlog, don't forget to hit that like button as well as hit that subscribe button. And make sure you turn on your post notifications. So, when I do drop videos, you guys won't miss it. But that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys stay safe and be blessed.